Hello and welcome to my third instalment in my little Highland visit. Buchel Etive Moor. Just uh, parked up in the car park behind me and heading up towards the other one which is about half a mile ahead and then we start the climb up to Stob Jedag. Okay, a not so pleasant start with a half a mile along that busy road. Um, but that's done now, there shouldn't be any more road walking. You could of course park at this starting point and walk along the road at the end, but I decided to get it out of the way first. Plan of attack then. Somewhere up there. How would you love to live in a house with a backdrop like that? So I think the plan is pretty much basically straight up this valley. I'm already at over 300 metres. It's only 700-ish to go, only. <laughs> For the most part, just been following the valley up. Just come off it at this last minute, onto this path at the side. And the path continues up this valley somewhere. Breathe the time. Two gentlemen just down here. They've just got to a little tricky patch actually, there's a little bit of a scramble there. Nothing that they can't handle I'm sure. But great views. But not not there yet. I'll be glad to get to the top of this bit. This sun is pretty damn hot today. We're getting there. Uh, I've just actually I'm bang on 800 metres. That's handy, I didn't realise that. Sometimes hard to find the path up these rocks, but usually if you look for the ones that are turned flat, such as these, you can figure something out. And some big steps as well. It kind of zigzags if you keep following these flat ones. And let's be honest, I've not got far to go now. Not gonna lie, that was a mission. What I haven't told you yet on this video, and if you're a regular subscriber or you've watched my Ben Nevis video, I should tell you now that I did that this morning. So I've now been awake about 12 hours and I've been walking for most of them. I probably had two hours break when I finished Ben Nevis and nipped to McDonald's to get a McDonald's breakfast and then nipped to Morrison's to get a few supplies lots of false little summits on the lead up to this one as well but I think this can might just be it so Ben Nevis I think was about 1500 meters elevation gain, I think, and then this one's got to have been almost a thousand. By the time I finished it, I think it goes past a thousand. So, yeah, quite a tough day. The summit of Stob Jarag, 1010 meters, I think. Oh, and it's hot, 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 hot. I can't believe there's someone sat there getting a the suntan and get my drone out. But I do need a sandwich and a drink, so I'm going to rest.
Okay, I'm back down to where I came up. Stubbs Yard Arg there was a there and back section. Now we're off up this way and across this ridge up up to this one. Which name has slipped my mind and I've just turned my phone off because the battery's getting low, but I'll pop it on screen for you now. I think it was 1041, 42 meters. And that's next. Two quite different summits. That one's obviously not got a lot of grass to it. Some sort of pinky, orangey, reddy coloured rock. And this one's quite grassy. And it's more like normal coloured rock, what I'd class as normal coloured rock, same as what I'm stood on. But very different, vastly different. Cracking up the spot for a 360 on this little mound along this ridge walk. Amazing view down that valley. And in the background, just look at the look at the landscape. The mountains back this way, absolutely fantastic. Beautiful. Back to where I've just come from, and out into Rannock Moor. Obviously not as good views as that as I had up there. Summit number two then of this. Um, oh, Bucalitid Moor. I'm not going to hang around here, I'm not going to get the drone out because there are loads of midges. And although I've only just dosed up on smidge, they are attacking. Awesome views again down over Rannock Moor, back to where I've just been along the ridge. Come over to this side, it might be better this direction. One last summit then, the one centre screen, green triangle, how am I going up to the far bit, oh I'm going up to the far bit of course I am, and then we'll drop down, somewhere down one of these paths centre screen now, right let's do it, another little high point, oh, 360 of course, the way ahead, look at this way for a change, I've just come off that, that was a bit of a horrible drop down, that was quite steep. Getting used to them now though, I suppose. The way down, my car, sorry van is at the bottom of that path down there. But not till I've gone up here and back and down where these three are stood now, that's where the path goes down, they're going down it. Down the valley from a different angle. But I really am going to move because I can actually hear a swarm of midges. You can hear the buzzing. Just got to get up there now. I've just come up this way. Okay, get across to there. It's so not too much more elevation. It does drop down a bit and then go up again, of course. As I was walking, I just realised I've uh, just walked past the summit. But um, we'll do the end bit first and go back to that because I've got to go back to that way anyway. Um, actually, I, I'm led to believe that these are quite good off that end bit. So we'll drop down there. I think that's far enough. I suppose I could get down a bit further, but I don't feel the need to. Fantastic views. Off the end of Stobnebruiga. I think. Again, I apologise Scotland for my pronunciations because I know they'll be cack. There we go. Am amazing. That was a mixture of awesome and amazing. I think amazing. Right, let's get to the top of this then. <laughs> Since I walk past it. Complete with a little shelter. The summit of Stobnabroiga. 
welcome back to where I've just come from. Right, let's have a 360 from the summit then. The lock that I've just looked down. His name has slipped me by and I can't be bothered to get my map out. So I'll pop it on screen. Amazing scenery. This is the lowest of the three summits today, as you will soon tell as they come into view. Actually, if you look right above the middle summit that I did today, there is, I don't know if you'll make it out, someone paragliding. And of course, just behind that one, um, it's Dob Gerard that I did first thing. Last look down Rannock Moor. Amazing scenery all around. Today's walk is not disappointed. And back to where we started. Right, let's get out of here. I've managed to find the first bit of shade I think that I've had since something like seven o'clock this morning. Whew. That's nice, just to take that in for a minute. That lasts long, so I'm going into the sun again in a minute here, but... Oh! That feels good. It really does feel good. It's hard to express just how good that feels. How much do I want to jump into that water? Not that there's a lot of it. Maybe when I get down to the bottom, if I'm still near it, I might just douse my head. Get in there. Oh. oh my god, that feels good. Oh. Final walk back at where I've come down from then. As I've been over to here. Started over this side, behind all this. Oh, what is it, about a mile back to the car park? I'm nearly back at the track. I think it's further, a mile and a half. You can just see the track over there. It's, uh... I'm done in. I mean, love loved it. I'm done in. It never dawned on me that in my haste to get back to the end of that trail and back to the van, I never actually uh, came on camera and said goodbye. So I'm back at the start where I went up, somewhere up this valley. I've just come and found a little spot by a river where I'm going to take a little dip in a minute and uh, cool myself down after all that. But um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll add, as ever, a map of the route and a few photos along with elevation, details, distance, etc. to the end here. But that's it. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you again soon. Bye bye.